today I am going to reveal the secrets to a gorilla card trick. Now by gorilla I mean this is a version of a classic trick but I have removed gimmicks, I have removed duplicates, I've made it bulletproof. Gorilla anytime, anywhere. This is a transposition effect uh, and so often you're going to be using duplicates, like I said, or gimmicks, whatever. This is none of that, okay? It's just a straight up boom, boom, okay? Uh, real casual. Deck can be shuffled, boom, boom, boom. Uh, deck can be borrowed, okay? Borrowed, shuffled, whatever the heck. Anytime, anywhere, freak fest. They grab a card. They can even sign the card. This sign is pre-signed for you here like this. So a card is freely selected. They can name a card. They can sign it, whatever. You say, look, we're going to take the card, we're going to isolate it inside the card case here. And you, somebody can hold on to that, or you can leave it on the table, whatever, and you make sure you don't get near the card, okay? And what I'm going to do for theatrical effect, we're going to leave it right there. You'll see why in a second. So that's card number one. Card number two, again, uh, you can do real casual. They can call stop. They call, you go through, they call stop. You cut the cards where they call stop. You say, fine, look, what is it? Queen of clubs in this case. You do this very, very slowly. You go watch. We got your sign card. We got the Queen of Clubs. I'm going to slowly isolate the Queen right there on top. And that could be on the back of their hand or just like this on a toadstool. Could be on the Wandering Wizard if you're on an acid trip. You're there and there. You go look. I just have to give a little flick towards that card. And a little flick watches particularly. Boom! Towards the card case. It just happened. You say look. You ask them to turn it over. They turn it over and they find impossibly there is the sign card. What's really cool is here in the card case, when you remove the one card that's inside the case, it's the Queen of Clubs. Okay. There is so much cool magic in this and little details and things. I'm going to break it all down for you in just a second here. Okay. And I promise on the next video, I will turn down the, the lights. It's getting a bit bright. I'm kind of getting a bit of a tan here. I'm going to teach the secrets on this. There's a bunch of cool slides, real simple, really direct trick. And I love the fact there are no duplicates, there are no gimmicks, shuffle deck, the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to ask the question of the week first, though, before revealing some of these cool tricks. Secrets. Uh, magic. I'm going to give away Traveler this week. Traveler is an effect, a brand new trick of mine I released, I don't know, maybe six weeks ago, two months ago, something like that. And I was very excited to share with people, with my fans, and uh, the response was wonderful. People loved it, got lots of orders for it, went from whatever. If you want to check it out, go to sankeymagic.com and you can search Traveler, okay? Now we've got it in stock and then it gets out of stock because it's pretty popular than back in, but I'm pretty sure we'll have it back in stock, okay? I'm sure it's back in stock as of uh, I think tomorrow, it'll probably be back in stock. So check out Traveler. Uh, I'm going to give it away. It's a cool trick where basically you're using postcards from all over the world. So with that in mind, here's the question of the week. If you could spend the weekend in any city in the world, which city and why? Leave a comment down below. Your chance to enter the contest. I'm giving away 12, tricky, 12 of the uh, Traveler um, trick. And leave a comment down below. Tell me if you could spend the weekend in any city in the world, which city and why? When you leave a comment, you're automatically entered into the contest. Okay? Uh, I'm also going to reveal in a moment the envelope winners. The last contest we had, I was giving away my envelope gimmicks. Envelope gimmicks. Very cool. Uh, kind of prediction, mentalism kind of thing. So in just a couple of minutes, I'm going to announce the winners of those as well. Okay, but let's jump into this. So as I said, real organic. You don't have to have the card signed if you want. Let's assume it's not signed. Shuffle deck, borrow deck, whatever. Okay, they literally take out any card. Okay, and you start by taking the card and putting it inside the card case. At least that's what it looks like. And this time I did do it legitimately, okay? But this is a technique I came up with many years ago and it really flows. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Card changes, card vanishes, you can change a card into a dollar bill, all this stuff. Because what I'm gonna do is I've got their card and I'm gonna put it in the case and I'm doing stuff with my hands. So I realized supernatural would be to pick up the case and slip this in. But if you pick up the case, take this card, and instead of slipping it inside the case, if you actually slip it below the case, below, okay, but you gotta be careful here, it goes below, but my fingertips go inside. This real casual action, boom, 
it goes inside, come away. It looks, and the fingers are still in there, so it flows so beautifully, but I actually left their card on top of the deck. So I'm picking up the card, the case. I'm like this. You're, I don't drop the deck. Notice if you put the deck flat on it, there's no room left to slip it underneath. All right? So you want to pick it up here. Leave, I don't know, half an inch underneath. Come here, watch your angles. You don't want to be caught over here or over here. You're straight on from the off. It goes in. And what I'm going to do is I take this and I slide this in here and it hits the tip of one of my fingers, which stops it. So it doesn't go beyond, okay? Because that would reveal. So it's this, it's sort of in here, in here. It looks like it's really going in. It's actually going below. Then I push it in, fingers go in. Deck is put down or put on someone's palm. Close this up really. And I say, boom, okay, so that way I can't, you can see there's no, there's no tears, there's no openings, there's no way I can get to your card. Really emphasizing it's here when the fact is down there, right? Now, if you leave this, this is a little bit I came up with years ago, I think a lot of magicians who perform for real people have come up with this bit. You can leave it sitting on the table there and with a little riffle from the cards, a nice invisible, you get a nice, come on, baby, come on. There we go, a nice magic moment kind of thing, boom. It really gives it a beat, which I love. Okay, so that's all set up there. Now here, all I'm going to do is force the car, top card into a double lift. What I did here was I cut the pack, kept the pinky break, little break at the back, then took it with my thumb at the back. With my fingers covering any chance of them seeing the break at the front, I then dribble the cards and I look at their mouth. And the moment their lips move, I know they're about to say stop. And I just drop all the cards below the break and I get to force it right there like that. Okay, so we're at that point where I brought their selection could be signed or not, to the top of the deck. Jay, hey Jay, why don't you uh, uh, announce the names of the last week's winners? Sure, that sounds like a good idea. Here we go. Last week's winners are envelope winners. Uh, you guys want envelope. Caleb Stella. Kennedy Samaraka. Oh my God. Sam Samara Cody. Sorry if I'm butchering, or butchering your name. Kennedy Samara Cody. Uh, Patrick Hare with a double R on the end. Okay. Heath Jacks, cool name. Zhang Master, Johan Reimers, Reimers. Hmm. Uh, Tony Salvino, Lee Dalton, Jason Guidon, uh, Marcus Vinicius, Vinicius, Vinny, Vinicius, Marcus Vinicius, Steve Hoffman, and Gary Donnelly. Okay, you guys all won. As I always say, contact my team with your real name and your YouTube name and your shipping address. Email them at contact at sankeymagic.com. Say, hey, yo, yo, I won. I won. I finally won one of Jay's freaking contests. Uh, send me my envelope and uh, they'll ship it out to you. Okay, uh, let's finish up here. We're here. Uh, we've got the selection here and some of the card below. This is signed or not, whatever. Let's, let's say it's signed. So I've got the signed card here. Uh, I do a double lift, turn it over, say we're going to use this card, showing that fairly. And I take this and I put it in someone's palm or on the table on top of this like this and say, don't take your eyes off it. Now, I'm going to do a palm in a moment, but I want misdirection. So I snap my fingers or I go wiggle like this and then I do wiggle like that, whatever, and boom, it goes down, whatever. And I say it's done. Take a look. Everybody take a look. And while everybody's taking a look at this and they're amazed that there it is, the sign card, plenty of misdirection for me to come over with either two hands or one and palm off the top card. And I, I know recently I've put a couple of videos on here involving card cases and palming. Sorry, but I'm just in that, in that mode. So I palm off the top card or two-hand palm like this, okay? There, like this. Now, this is Marlowe's. I'm going to come over, grab it with the palmed card, okay? Then this hand turns everything over. Now, the motivation there is I want to open this. So I turn this the right way and open the flap. That's the motivation. And as you do that, all you do is load the card below the card case, okay? So, one more time, slow motion. It's facing out, I palmed it, pick it up, this hand comes over, I turn everything over, and I'm loading, I'm pivoting the hand away, having loaded the card below, open the flap, there's nothing in the case, right? So thumb goes in, fingers are below, and you get this beautiful production of the card right from inside the case. Notice this false loader I mentioned before, you could have a folded dollar bill in there or another playing card. And so you could pretend if there's a folded bill or another card, when you do the false loading, that card goes below and is left there. Anything that could be in here, SpongeBob for transition, 
You can change a free deflected card to a sponge ball. It'll, so many cool things you can do with that. There you have it. The Gorilla two-card transpo, okay? Borrowed deck, shuffle. No duplicates, no gimmicks. Really organic. Great for bar work and all that stuff. Please leave a comment down below. I don't want you to miss your chance to win Traveler, okay? The Traveler trick. If you could spend a weekend in any city in the world, okay? Which city and why? Leave a comment down below. Please subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications, you darn deadbeats. Turn on. You want to hear that bing or that ring or whatever. Notifications, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. It's a pretty groovy trick with a bunch of things going on. Hit the like button. Uh, and that's it. Okay, have a great day.